Good day and welcome to today's construction class. All right, on the board and having a truncated pool. Yeah. So today we'll be looking at into the development of what's called a truncated pool, right? So I have already prepared uh, the code. All I need to do is now to do what is to uh, bring out its pattern, yeah, its surface development. So today we'll be developing the surface of this what of this truncated code. All right. So after drawing the uh, initial elevation and Plan, right, and the plan. Yeah. So the next thing is to what? Project each of the points directly to the what to the elevation, then what then bring out the pattern development. So just uh enjoy as you follow me, all right? Enjoy as you follow me. So already zero and twelve already aligns itself with this only position here, all right? So we go further and the same thing applies to this point. This point is already aligns itself with this other position here, all right? Yeah. So we go further and do that also. So, but point one and eleven, I'm going to bring it up here. Point one and eleven. Yeah, it stops you from me. I'm going to was direct you towards the apex. Yeah, the apex of the of the triangle. Oh, this is. I'm going to stop aligning it to be okay. Let me actually drag it to the apex so that you can. So, drawing it from this junction to the apex, I can decide to what actually cut my line here. Then, what project it out. Then, project it out. So, how am I going to do that? After doing that, so I'm going to project that particular portion out. So points two and ten on the same plane. Yeah, two and ten. Yeah, so this is where it is. So from here to what to the apex. Okay, so it touches it here at this point, alright? So I'm going to what I'm going to bring it out. Next is point what three and nine, which is what already here. So I'm only going to what bring it out. Okay, so the next is what point four and four and eight. Point four and eight. And from there to what to the index. Okay. This horizontal line should be drawn with a T square. Yeah. This horizontal line should be drawn with a T square. With your what? With your T square. A T square. Make it like a T square, right? So what is now? The very next procedure here is this. I'm going to pick my compass, right? Picking the total height of this thing, right? Of the cone. Then what? I'm going to actually project here. Yeah, okay. I'm picking one of my divisor. Then adding one of my divisor here. I'm starting from here. So one automatically. Uh, this area is going to start as my zero. As my okay. One and two. Alright, so after doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to bring them in. Alright.
Okay, you don't break it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and what comes so. Alright, so this is the next procedure. Alright, this is the next procedure. Right now. Okay, so this particular area. Yeah, this particular area. This, this is it here. So that's this area is starting for what? For point six. Okay. So I'm going to place my compass right here. Yeah. Extend this to this area. Then I'm going to mark it out and what my point six. Guess point six. This point six here. Alright, so I've marked it out. Okay. So this next one is standing for what? For point seven and five. And point seven and five. So extending it down here. So, so for 0 0.7, so on 0.5 and on 0 0.8 and 0 0.7, alright? So the very next one, this one, is standing for 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and 4. So extending it here, 0.8 and what, and 0.4 and 0.4, alright? So the very next one is standing for, what, for 0 0.3 and 9. You can see point three and nine. This is my point three, and this point nine. This point nine. Okay, the very first next one is time for point two, which is this. Okay, so then in here point two and what two and ten. Okay, this is my point two, and this is my point ten. Okay, so the very next one is time for point two, point one and eleven. Point one and eleven. So point one and what and eleven point one and eleven and this last one is starting for what point zero and twelve so point zero and what and twelve all right so having marking out uh, the points so the next thing is you make use of your your French copy yeah? you make the French copy to what to actually bring out the pattern so I'm going to actually trace those pattern out. So, and this now, this is what the pattern development here. Yeah. So, the whole of this area is what the yeah. So, the whole of this section ranging from here, all right, from here to here, is the pattern development for what for the truncated code. This is the pattern development for this one for this truncated code. Ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.